The temperature is pretty darn cold here in Northern Utah, which means the reemergence of our annual winter uniform, the puffy jacket or puffer. Depending on where you live, these jackets are a daily staple for basically half of the year. So you want a really good one. My red Patagonia down sweater that I purchased a little over seven years ago is probably one of the best gear purchases I've ever made. But it was pretty darn expensive, even though I got it on sale at the time. The current retail price for a Patagonia down sweater is $280 or 140 bucks for the kids version. That introduces a challenge for parents. Do you pony up the big bucks for the Patagonia version, even though your kid might only get two or three years out of it? Or do you go with something a little more affordable like this REI jacket? Now, lucky for you, because we've actually had one of each in our family for several years now, and they've lasted through several kids. So that's what this video is gonna be all about. This video compares the quality, longevity, features, and value of the Patagonia down sweater and the REI Co-op 650 down jacket. And since my oldest child is on the verge of outgrowing her jacket, I am literally in the middle of this exact decision myself. First, a couple similarities between the jackets. Both are wind resistant and water resistant thanks to the treated polyester for the REI one and treated nylon for the Patagonia one. And while neither have enough water resistance to last nine hours in the middle of a whiteout storm, both of my kids have had no problem wearing them for a couple of hours while sledding or snowboarding as the outer layer. One other similarity is that both of these jackets that I'm gonna be talking about are actually the older models. The newer models have more recycled materials, a couple more features, all that good stuff. And of course that comes with an increased price tag. That being said, most of what I'll be discussing applies to the newer models as well. And the quality that I've seen between the newer and older versions is pretty consistent. One other note is that I'm personally a pretty big fan of down for the packability and the overall warmth. There is a synthetic version of the Patagonia jacket, but there's no synthetic version of the REI kids jacket. Price wise, I luckily got both of these on sale. If you can be forward thinking enough to get your jackets in July, then you can probably get a pretty good deal at REI, whether it's the REI version or the Patagonia version. Of course, that can be a gamble because you're trying to anticipate your child's growth four or five months down the road. Anyway, I paid just $41 for the REI jacket and 71 for the Patagonia. So really not too bad. First off is a question of warmth, which is really what a jacket is all about. I've had no complaints for either of my kids there. And like I said earlier, both of them have actually worn these jackets as outer layers while snowboarding in 20 degree weather or so with nothing but a base layer underneath. Now I will say just feeling it, the Patagonia jacket feels like the down is a little bit more dense inside. Obviously, I can't actually wear the jackets to know for sure, and I've had no complaints from either of my kids, both of which have worn both jackets. It's just basically me grabbing this and saying, I would probably prefer that personally. A few more points in favor of Patagonia is just like the overall quality of everything seems a little bit higher. The zippers, the zipper pulls, um, the cuffs, all that good stuff, like it just feels like a higher quality piece of gear, which is good because you're paying more for it. So you are getting more quality for the extra money. Now, that being said, the REI jacket has had one major problem that I can speak of, and it's this dumb little string right here to hang up the jacket. Now, the good news is the new version has replaced this dumb little broken string with a strap. So I imagine that they've preemptively solved for that issue. I only mention that because after the first time that that string broke, REI was great about replacing the jacket. The second time the string broke, we were outside of that year warranty window, and so we were kind of out of luck. If it had been Patagonia, they would have either replaced it or repaired it because that's just what they do. To talk a little bit more about Patagonia's ironclad guarantee, I've had really great luck with it personally, and I know a lot of other people have as well. I think this is really worth considering and valuing if you have multiple kids and you're hoping that a piece of gear is going to last through, you know, three kids, seven or eight years, that's a long time. And REI's one year warranty is frankly not that great. So that's another huge plus for the Patagonia jacket is you know that Patagonia will stand by it even if it's two kids in and four years down the road from your purchase. One other thing I wanted to mention is that this Patagonia jacket is four years old and this REI jacket is currently five years old and both get absolutely abused. They get crumpled, stuffed in backpacks and left all weekend. They get used as pillow fights. They get dropped in puddles. I think both of them look pretty darn good, especially considering their age and the fact they both get abused to death. 
That being said, if you had to say which one looks better, I would probably give it to the Patagonia one. It is a year newer, but overall, I would say that it probably has aged a little bit better. Okay, but here's the rub. Up to this point in the video, it's just been one reason after another that the Patagonia beats the REI jacket. But there's one more very important consideration, and that is the price. If they were the same price or a comparable price, I'd say get the Patagonia jacket all day long. But as a parent, we have to make decisions all the time about value. And that's where things get a little bit harder. The current price of the Patagonia down sweater, like I mentioned earlier, is 140 bucks. Now, if you play your cards right, you can usually get a 20% off code, or you can get kind of a weird color in the off season and maybe get it for even less. The REI jacket is only 90 bucks. And if you shop at REI regularly, you know how easy it is to get discounts on REI branded gear. I'd say if you're proactive, you use a coupon and you buy in the off season, you can probably get the REI version for maybe about $65. And the Patagonia one, you know, an off color, off season, maybe 95 to 100. So ultimately this whole video comes down to one question. Is this REI jacket good enough? Is it good enough to outlast the abuse, the trampling, the multiple washings per year, the multiple kids? Are the features and quality and longevity good enough, even though the Patagonia one by all accounts is better? That's a question that I've been asking myself personally over the last couple weeks, and we have a winner. This was just $63 during the most recent REI sale, and that's just really difficult to beat. Based on the performance of our first REI jacket, I'm pretty confident that this new one will last through all three kids, and at a price that's less than half of the full price Patagonia version. Even with all of the other upsides and benefits of the Patagonia version, it's really just hard to pay about two times as much for something that will keep your kids just as warm. I hope this video is helpful, and if you have any other questions about either of the jackets, drop it in the comments, I'll do my best to answer it. Thanks for watching and stay warm.